Well, how about this? Police in New Hampshire are asking for the public's help to find a man who used a small child to steal prizes from an arcade game. Can you believe this? Seth Phillips joins us now to discuss that and more oh, in the buzz. Man. This is beyond strange. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I need this? to hear this story before right. I make okay. a judgment call. Well, well here you go. You All see, right. the man, he's squatting down near the opening of the arcade machine at a local mall. Towards the end of the video, you're going to see a small child climb out of the opening in that game. The video has been blurred to protect the identity of the minors involved. Now, police say the man was instructing the child how to get inside the machine to steal Whoa. the prizes. Look at, and he could have gotten stuck, and they have to go and call the fire department. But uh, oh, no. that didn't obviously happen in this case. But really, what kind of prize could be in there? Worth that? Yeah. A really big stuffed animal. No, 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 no. Some of those, you know, arcade games do have like, you know, but coach that, that bags would, and and, yeah. and iPhones oh, and oh yeah, which they, they should they put should real put that coach stuff bags in there. Yeah, in they actually arcade. do, and Fendi bags and stuff like that. Uh, you know, kind of silly. I know. I guess. Yeah, really I always thought it was just stuffed animals. animals. Yeah. yeah, I guess if you're gonna get a Louis Vuitton or a or Gucci bag out of it, why not put your kid into a vending machine? <laughs> <It's> and <rest. laughs> it's ridiculous. What's, it's just so crazy. And was this even his child? Or did that he? Know. I don't even know. They didn't see. He say. found him somewhere. <laughs> no, I yeah. mean, he could have seen him there oh, and asked no. him to go in there. Who knows? It's crazy. I mean, the oh whole thing gosh. is just stupid. It's weird. Yes. Okay. How about another one? Okay. The West Australian government is offering a $100,000 reward for information that leads to the prosecution of anyone found responsible for putting needles into strawberries. Police say they were investigating half a dozen reports of needles found in containers of strawberries across the state. Oh. The contamination scare spread across the nation. One of the latest cases involving a student who bit into a strawberry and found a needle. Authorities are now urging people to cut up fruit before eating it, and growers are battling to contain the crisis as stores begin throwing out their strawberries. And the purpose of this is what? Scare tactics. I don't. They, know, yeah, I don't I understand. Mean, I've heard this, the same thing about like like needles in seats at uh, like, like the movie, movie theaters, theaters. Yeah, things yeah. like that, just to scare people. But some people are weird enough to actually go out there and, and do infect it. them. Yeah, with yeah. stuff. So it can but be. Yeah, you, you just don't understand hazard. what anybody. You know, and if you're going to go time? into um, you know a machine and try to steal just, something, right? You get okay. There's an end result. You want to steal something right. out of that machine, right? What on earth are you getting out of by harming another human being, which is just pure I don't know. crazy? Mm -hmm. All right, here's the last one, which is kind of, I guess, okay. Uh, a <laughs> shop in Western Japan is helping people smash through their stress. Rather than helping people decompress, the company helps people put their minds at ease using destructive techniques. Okay, this shop supplies roof tiles for people to smash, but the shop's clientele is more than overworked nine to five office workers. Even kids try their hands with the tiles. The company hopes to open more stress smashing locations and popular tourist locations in Western Japan. Yeah, it looks like he's going to have to go to the doctor <coughs> there. We, oh, please Ooh. don't do that with oh, your wow. head. Ah. Yeah. He's like, he's like yeah. no, I'm good. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, no. And that is the bus. All right, everyone, <laughs> stick with us. We've got more traffic and weather coming your way next on LEX 18 News at 4.